This recipe takes a classic cocktail and brings it into the modern age. Let me show you how to make a red thorn. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm making a Red Thorn, a variation on a classic cocktail that takes that original recipe and moves it a little bit more into the modern era with a little bit more fruitiness and a little bit of a different kind of vibe. This is a variation on a Blackthorn cocktail, that original classic kind of cocktail from 1922. If you want to see how to make a Blackthorn number three, I'll put a link down below. I'll see if I'll remember to put a link up there as well for you to check out later on. But this here is a red thorn. So let's go into the ingredients. This calls for whiskey. This is Irish whiskey. This is the Uish whiskey from the Ahaskara distillery. It is a blended whiskey made up of 50% grain, 25% malt, and 25% postil whiskey. So it's got a nice bit of sweetness, but as well, it's got a little bit of spiciness and a bit of caramelly notes, and it does help round out cocktails. It comes in at 43% ABV, so it does have a little bit more weight, so it lets its presence be known in a final cocktail. It also calls for some dry vermouth right here from the Martini Company, a little bit of green chartreuse, a little bit of absinthe, as well as so this here, some raspberry sugar syrup. This is a raspberry syrup that's actually quite thick. It is made up of raspberry pulp, so you gotta keep it in the fridge. It's from the Drinks Botanicals Ireland company, but you can use kind of whatever raspberry syrup you want. And it also calls for a few of these right here, fresh raspberries, because that's gonna give us a nice bit of kind of a tart, citrusy zing that'll help cut through all the other ingredients and make it a little bit brighter and a little bit fresher. And that's enough talking about the cocktail, I think it's time we make it. It is gonna be a shaken drink, so we're gonna get our mixing glass, and we're gonna get our muddler, and we're gonna pop in five of these fresh strawberries, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna muddle them at the bottom of our shaker tin just to get all that juice out of these raspberries. Because again, like I said, we want that kind of bright, fragrant, kind of floral zing you get from fresh raspberries. So that was just there, five fresh raspberries muddled up, get all that nice goodness off them. And then we're gonna go in with the rest of our ingredients. Starting off with our ice, we're gonna get a nice rock of ice and drop that into our shaker tin before we go in with the rest of our ingredients. Starting off with our whiskey. This is gonna be 45 ml of our nice blended Irish whiskey. You can use other whiskeys. Now it does call, the original recipe does call for Irish whiskey, so always advocate for Irish whiskey, but you can use your own favorite brand. So that there is 45 ml of Irish whiskey, followed up with 30 ml of our dry vermouth. So this is gonna be an ounce of our dry vermouth into there, just like that. And then we're gonna go in with our green chartreuse. It doesn't actually call for a lot of green chartreuse, just 1.25 milliliters, which is kind of a hard measure, but this measuring cup from Difford's is actually really good. It's quite precise and lets you get all those down there it goes 1.25, two and a half, has quite a nice gradation, which is also helpful because it's hard to find green chartreuse these days. The monks have basically stopped making it, so it's very hard to find green chartreuse. There's loads of like substitutes out there, but nothing really does beat the classic green chartreuse. So just gonna go in very carefully because it is quite strong, does kind of overpower the ingredients with 1.25, one and a quarter mil of our green chartreuse into there. And then last, we're gonna go in with 12 and a half mil of our sugar syrup. Like I said, this is a raspberry sugar syrup. It's got a lot of pulp in it and it's really thick. So I'm glad I used my green chartreuse first because otherwise I wouldn't be able to pour it all out and it would've been a little bit left over. Very, very nice though. So we can pop this in here. Let that drain in, and then we're gonna go in with our absinthe. This is just a dasher's bottle that I filled with absinthe, very handy trick. If you ever have an old dasher bottle, just take your absinthe of choice, put a little bit in here, and that'll let you dash in your absinthe without having to do washes of glasses, which can sometimes be a bit time consuming. So just gonna go in here, one dash of my absinthe into there, just giving this a nice little bit of kind of rounded out, kind of licorice, sweet vibes into there. All my sugar syrup has drained off, so we're gonna pop the top on here, bang it down, and shake it away for about 30 seconds. Okay, I think that is nicely chilled now, so I'm gonna bang the top off our cocktail shaker and get ready to strain it out into a nice chilled coupe glass. We are gonna double strain it, so we're gonna have a hot horn strainer and a fine strainer, just to catch all that pulp, all those ice chips, because we do want a nice, clean presentation. So just gonna pour this in here, 
and that fine strainer is going to catch all that pulp because we don't really want that into our cocktail. It's going to give us a nice clean presentation. Just like that. And then we're not fully finished yet because we are going to garnish this cocktail. We are just going to get a little skewer of three raspberries again, hyping up that uh, raspberry vibe, put that on top. And that right there is how I make a red thorn. Now real quick, before I taste this cocktail, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I put out cocktail recipes featuring whiskey every Friday and I put out whiskey reviews every Wednesday. And if you wanna see the review of that Uish whiskey, there'll be a link down below. I'll try and remember to put a link up there. But right now, let's taste this cocktail. Cheers. See, that's very nice. It's got that little bit of like botanical note from the, from the vermouth. It's got that chartreuse kind of like herbal note, a little bit of like the licorice roundness from the absinthe, but overall it's quite fruity, it's quite sweet. We added that sugar syrup and that's given it a nice bit of like fresh, fragrant, kind of normal kind of sugary raspberries, but then the actual raspberries themselves, like that pulp, gave us that little bit of like a zing, like that tartness, which works well because that vermouth there has this kind of like almost lemony kind of vibe to it. So it works well with the tartness coming through from those raspberries. The whiskey isn't completely lost in here. You've still got a little bit of like spiciness. You get a little bit of like caramel roundness, but overall you're getting a lot of those kind of botanical notes coming through into the cocktail, which does give it a little bit of roundness. If you aren't the biggest fan of those kind of like Manhattan style cocktails that are a little bit dry, that can be a little bit kind of overpowering from time to time. This here might be one for you to try it because it's got a bit of fruitiness. It's kind of a little bit more of like a modernized version of those classic cocktails with those aromatized wines. But it's really, really tasty. I don't know why I put it down. I'm gonna taste it some more. Like I said, I put out cocktail recipes every Friday. If you wanna see more, make sure you hit subscribe. But right now, I'm gonna keep on enjoying this and I will see you next time. Sláinte.